hey hi friends welcome back in my new video today in this video i am going to cover about cma internship many student asked ki sir what should i do should i go for internship in a firm or should i go for internship in a company what will be better for me so my answer is not same for everyone it's depend on you your situation and many other things what you want to achieve so i am recording this video based on my past 5 years of post qualification experience so this video will help you if you are at the age of your cm intermediate okay and your cm final and you want to start your corporate journey as a cm trainee then this video will help you this video will guide you to decide what is best for you so don't skip the video or any part of the video watch this video complete this video will give you complete guidance what you should do right now so i am going to share my screen just give me few seconds yeah so right now my screen is visible to all of you i have prepared some slides for you this is not called exactly slides this is called mind mapping so i want to connect the point because of that i prepared this so i have divided my this session into two part one is you about your cma form and one is about your industry okay what are the advantage disadvantage and what should you do based on the advantage disadvantage okay all the things so first of all what are the advantage if you will do your internship in a form then there is two advantage there first of all about your exposure you will get a in number of exposure there like you will learn about audit taxation record keeping that's called book keeping and many other things you can learn there what are the disadvantage if you will go there okay so these all are the called advantage so you will get two advantage i club both of them together so we'll get a exposure in different area and it will help you okay it will definitely help you in your life in your career so next come to about disadvantage when you come to the disadvantage there is the three types of disadvantage there the first one is your low stipend if you are looking for a good stipend for your cma final classes then here you will not get the good stipend because in cma form 99% firms are paying as per industry norms sorry as per insured norms and insured norms is i think 2000 to 4000 okay so you will not get more than 5000 or 6000 maximum in the case as a cma trainee the second disadvantage is long office hours because gst audit sorry right now there is no gst audit but yeah gst returns are there income tax returns okay apart from this Uh, you need to do some audit related to internal audit stock audit concurrent audit which types of audit assignments are there so you need to <coughs> complete these types of task and because of that the long office hours like 9 to 7 9 to 9 also it can be possible at the time of returns filing okay so these all are the problems less time for your exam preparation because the long office hour will hamper your study so you need to decide what should you do right so come to the industry point of view what are the advantage and disadvantage you can see here we have a four advantage if you join a company if you join a company then there is a four advantage the first one is brand recognition when you will work in ongc iocl or any other psus or also if you are working in any of mnc and that mnc are very big like essential Bpro, Infosys, Capgemini, Cognizant, many other MNCs are there. So, if you're working these types of MNCs, then that is also called a brand recognition. So, you will get that recognition in your resume. So, next resources because when you are working in a big company, they have a various types of tools and softwares. You can say so you will get a different types of exposure also because when you will work in a firm, you will learn MS Office. that ms excel powerpoint okay and apart from this 99 form percent forms are working on tally 
ओके ओनली फ्यू परसेंट इट कैन बी दे आर यूजिंग देयर ओन ई आर पी और दे आर यूजिंग एस ए पी लाइक ई आर पीज ओके बट वेन यू विल वर्क इन ए कंपनी देन यू विल गेट ए एक्सपोजर ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ टूल्स देर इज ए सेपरेट टूल्स फॉर रिकनसलेसन सेपरेट टूल्स फॉर अकाउंटिंग सेपरेट टूल्स फॉर अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द कंपनी रिक्वायरमेंट सो वाट आर द अदर एडवांटेज आर देयर network opportunities networking so same opportunities are there in form also you can create a various types of network build various types of network with different types of corporate persons and same in company also so this is also called advantage so what advantage there suppose you want to do job in future also so what will happen right now suppose you have done your internship from iocl and iocl are also coming in cma campus and also there are some off campus vacancies are there so at the time of your interview it may possible ki same person can take your interview or the persons who are taking your interview they are the connected with some other persons who already work there so they can give a positive feedback about you if you have done everything in right way so that positive feedback will help you to select there and this all called call the networking stipend so this is for them they are looking for a good stipend to complete their cma final classes survive in the metro cities so in a psu and other companies you will get a stipend between 10000 to 22000 these all are the advantages what are the disadvantage so there are the two disadvantages two the first one limited exposure yeah so you will get a limited exposure but it may be possible ki you will become expert in that particular area suppose you will get a opportunity to work in internal audit so it may possible ki you can get many thing many learning in internal audit so you can become expert in that particular area same the other disadvantage is lack of autonomy means authority you have a less authority you can't sign you can't uh, you are not responsible for any types of work there so this is called a disadvantage and because of that many persons they are working as a trainee there they are not uh, working in right way like they are kya keh sakte laziness they have so this can be possible these are the disadvantage if you will do work here and if you will do work here so let's come to the point what should you do so first of all you need to think what you want to be in future you want to become a cma practitioner you want to start your own cma firm you want to start your own startup if yes then you can go with cma firm if you want to do job in future also then what should you do right now you should join a company why suppose you qualify your cma again you need to do your job in company there is a different types of department not everyone working is everything in big companies like in essential or genpack when i worked in genpack so i was limited to costing area only i was not working in financial accounting same in essential right now i am limited to sap fico module only i am not working in other modules also so what will happen suppose you will get exposure related to gst income tax financial accounting but when some company will select you in campus or also in off campus they will give you a particular job role it may be internal audit it may be stat audit it may be cost auditor it may be cost accountant any profile it may be but you have to do only limited work so there is no a diversify because they want a expert person they want you to you become expert in that area jab aap expert ho jaoge there is a less scope of mistake because of that they want to become you a expert so these are the things which i have also seen and i will suggest you if your future goal is do job try to get opportunity in big companies or a cma uh, like uh, top cma firms also you can choose because they have a various types of departments also there but i don't know about the software and tools what software and tools they are using but yeah in big company you will get definitely a big exposures you will learn many things there
yeah it may possible you will get less exposure in your technical field but many other exposures are also there like company mein kaam kaise hota hai kitne types ke departments hoti hai kaun si department kis tarike se kaam karti hai many thing many things are there okay so that's all about this video hope so ki after watching this video you can select what you want to do right thanks for watching this video bye take care and best of luck milte hain agle किसी दूसरे वीडियो में